What would Martin Luther think of it all? 500 years after the Reformation, Wittenberg is preparing for the big anniversary. 100,000 guests will attend a special service here on the weekend as part of the church's biennial congress. Construction cranes have been brought in to build a frame to hold four church bells. After all, no church service would be complete without bells. The crane company is used to working at great heights, but here it's more about having a wide and stable base, as the assembly manager explains. When a bell rings, it exerts a thrust around three times its weight, and that makes the structure twist. And then the whole thing can fall over. I've seen a bell frame collapse like a house of cards. The largest bell weighs nearly three tons. For the crane company, it's far from business as usual. The challenge was to decide how to build the bell tower. The height is decisive in terms of the tipping forces, but so is the width. We're also right by the Elba River. We don't know how the ground might behave if it rains a lot. So we've made it very wide and stable. It was here in Wittenberg 500 years ago that Martin Luther began speaking out against the church practice of selling indulgences to gain forgiveness for sin. He drew up theses for reforming the church. He said to have nailed them to this door. It sparked the birth of Protestantism. Half a billion euros have been invested in the city of Wittenberg ahead of the anniversary celebrations. Will enough people come and spend money to make that investment worthwhile? No one here is willing to say. Many believe the anniversary can't be measured in money. One thing is for sure, an army of helpers is making it happen. Today they're packing communion wafers, enough for every single person who visits the church congress. They'll be working for the entire year, earning just 225 euros a month. Is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. I'd do it even if I got no money at all. You learn so much, and you get to know so many great people. You make new friends. The Brückenkopf Hotel in Wittenberg is also gearing up for the anniversary. Right now they're awaiting the arrival of a group of bishops from Asia. The place is almost fully booked this year. The owner, Renate Schult, has invested many millions in restoring this old fortress. She's convinced that the investment was worthwhile, and she believes the anniversary celebrations won't just benefit her hotel. Everyone here in Wittenberg is grateful for the business opportunities that 2017 has given us. I see this anniversary as a blessing for Wittenberg and for the whole of Eastern Germany. And I see it as a blessing for us Protestants and for Christians generally who live here in the East. We're the center of attention right now. The crane company has to be very careful with the bells. They're on loan from a church in Göttingen and will only be rung once on Sunday out here on the meadow. We've never built a bell frame like this and we're unlikely to do it again soon. It's quite symbolic. Could the Luther anniversary ring in a whole new chapter for Wittenberg? It's certainly what many in this city are hoping for.